Hello, my friends, and welcome to Nurturing Faith. Today, I want to start open us up with a little song because today's scripture uh, text is comes from the book of Genesis, which is the first book found in your Bible. And it is the story of Noah's Ark. Uh, it's chapter nine verses eight to 17. So we're really kind of talking about God's promise and uh, the promise that God made to God's people after uh, he flooded the earth. But let's start with this little song. I know many of you learned the song, Are You Sleeping? Remember, are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Well, we're gonna change the words a little bit and it goes like this. And we're gonna be, for the next few, few Sundays, we'll be singing this song as our opening gathering song. So if you will, repeat after me. God is with us, God is with us every day, every day. God will always love us, God will always love us. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Very good. That was good. So practice those words, listen to those, because we're going to sing it once again. But let's jump right into our story. I'm out here in front of uh, what would be our sanctuary across the street. There's this fountain, which is right across the street from our sanctuary entrance. The sanctuary, that's another name for the church building as we enter it. And I'm here by this fountain. I thought it would be nice and I have a little boat that happens to have a rainbow sail. And you'll hear more about what the rainbow symbolizes. That means what it, what it shows us, what it reminds us of when something symbolizes something. And this little boat that was floating for Noah's story. Now, you know, God wants us to be good listeners. And in being good listeners, we're supposed to share God's love with everyone, you know, and uh, not try to keep things to ourselves, to share our food, to share clothing, to share our shelter. Well, God's people, they weren't doing that very well. And uh, God kind of got mad. I mean, God does get mad, just like we do. Remember, we are born and shaped out of God's image. So God does get mad sometimes. And so he was mad at the people. And he decided that, you know, since he was so angry, he was just going to make it rain. And I thought, wow, look, it's raining. And that the flood waters would rise because it was so much rain and it rained and rained and rained. And he told Noah to build a boat. Now, this boat isn't as big as the one that Noah uh, built, but you kind of get the idea. And he loaded all the animals and everything in the boat and his family and they withstood the floodwaters as everything just, uh, it covered the earth with water everywhere. And I was thinking, it reminds me that we might be feeling a little scared now. And that's what I was thinking when I looked at this fountain and thought about this little boat and all of this big water, how it might be just a little scary for the people that were on the boat, for the animals, for Noah and his family. And so right now for us, sometimes it's a little scary. Uh, you friends, you see everybody's walking around with masks, so you can't see people's faces. You don't know whether they're smiling and friendly, and that can be a little bit scary. But what I want you to remember is that no matter if we might feel a little scared, that God, just like the song we sang, God loves us and is with us all the time. And so even though Noah and his family might have been scared and they might have run into some rough waters and the rain was coming down, that God was with them. And when it was all said and done, the water stopped. God had flooded the whole earth. And he said, you know what? I, I flooded the whole earth, Noah, and you, you remembered, you were sharing the, my love, you were taking care of all of creation, the trees and the plants and the animals. And, and God said, you know what? I'm not gonna do that to you again. I'm not just gonna be so angry that I'm just gonna let the waters rise and just wipe out everything. So I make you this promise. 
that I am there with you and that I'm going to give you a symbol so that you'll remember and be reminded every time you see it that I did make this promise that I will love you always and that this punishment will never happen again. And so what God did then was create it through the rainwaters. We can only see it after a good rain and through the clouds, the sun will shine brightly, God's love shining brightly and out from the waters, from the rain comes this symbol, a rainbow. Friends, the rainbow, whenever I see it, I say, yes, God, thank you. I remember your promise that you love us and that you want us to remember that you, each one of us, is loved by you, God, and each one of us should be loved by one another. We need to share that love and that this rainbow is that reminder. And that's, friends, why we come to church to remember and to hear the story of God's love and the struggles of God's people, that's you and me. So invite a friend to come and enjoy this beautiful campus that we call home and for them to hear and remember in these different spaces the stories that I've shared with you and the many stories yet to come. So I look forward to seeing you soon and to the friends that you will bring with you. And now as we leave in a blessing, hear these words. May God bless you. May God bless you. Keep you safe. Keep you safe. May God's love surround you. May God's love surround you. Go in peace. Go in peace. Amen.